Okay, as I was saying, I just need to... Give me my car, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Booty lashes right there. This is what I get. What, what I get? Missions. Couple things for that one. Closer. To quote C3PO. Closer. Oh god. Oh god. How many laps? One lap, I think. Uh, this is the full course then. Probably. <laughs> Wait till you see this if you've never seen the full Nurburgring course. Good god. It's fucking mental. Fucking mental, I mean a fucking mental. Uh get some sick jams on with those horns. Uh uh fuck yeah.
First of all, note how wide it is. Also note how narrow it is. A lot of blind areas like this corner going around, like you've got fence in the way you can't really see the degree of the turn, right? Um, lots of little rises like this where you can't see kind of what's at the top, right? still flow through it pretty good if you just have experience on it because you know you don't have it memorized because it's such a wacky course but you know how to compensate for things if you get into trouble or whatever right and then of course they throw in some sand because that's everybody's favorite Car track is a bully, right? This would be the bully. <laughs> Just kicking your ass all over the place, right? Whoa, and right, I fucked that up. Let's ride it out. Keep it pointed north. Back on the tarmac. Hit it. Hit it.
over the end. This, this fucking course is so. I can't wait to get into that straight away. Oh. It's getting close. I kind of forget what the finish line is on this one because there's so many different sections of this track you can race in separate races, like shorter ones. And I forget where you actually start for the full version. It's right down near the bottom. Sure, that's why. Like, if I get knocked out of third place, I gotta get back into it as soon as possible, right? Because I just don't know where, where this track is. What? Where'd you come from? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Fucker! You fucking cocksucker! Go, 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 go! Easily the toughest track challenge in the game. It's just bonkers. It's also fun. Like, it's a fun track. Like, there's lots of sequences in it where you're just flying through and you're swaying around. And it feels good when you complete some of it, right? But I thought I'd lost it when that guy got me, right? And wiped me out along the wall. I was like, oh no. Oh no. I knew I was faster than them. So once I got to the straight, I had a good chance of catching up. But I didn't know, you know, where does the track end, you know? I think I've unlocked most of these now, right? Yeah, two more to go. Whoa. Cafe Ole. Alright, Luca. Oh, look at that.
Sure, a masterpiece. Ah, Supra. Back to the Japanese cars. Well, Supra only started in 88, eh? Circuits world. Weit, weit world. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. And we got a race in each region. <coughs> a race of Turbo Sports Cards PP seven hundred. Ooh. this fucking thing up even more. <coughs> or should I just go with the Camaro? as well, right? Hmm. I'm not going to upgrade the Ford GT. That might be a good move. Okay. So I got two American cars, a German, and a Japanese, which I could probably use. Corvette could all I could also upgrade some Corvettes, but I'm just curious. Um... I want to see what cars are allowed in. I should have done that first. So I'm not going to enter a car. Or go upgrade a car I can't even use for this. Ow. Regulations, 700 or less. Turbo. So it has to be a turbo. So the Porsche I was using could work. Okay. So the Porsche or the GTR stuff on this. So I have a feeling it's going to do better than the Porsche. Because um, the Porsche, I think I've pretty much maxed out what I can put on it. Maybe not quite, because I had that limitation, but I'm not sure how far I went with this one. Um, that's on it.
Ooh, something happened for now. well with this one, maybe I'll try the Porsche. I haven't really been paying attention to the weight reduction because it's in different stages there in each category and I kind of forget about it. But that used to be a staple when, in old Turismo games when I'd be tuning cars out max. I'd always do the weight reduction. Right? Just make them as light as possible. Five laps. I really enjoyed this GTR though. It was a pretty awesome car. And hopefully I added some more stuff to it. It should be uh, even better. That's my name. I'm curious to see what I'm up against here. Shit. Take that quite right. Sometimes you can have like a wider turn radius and you really gotta watch your turning and stuff. Uh, but I find that otherwise like it's just a really stable car. So fast. You know, you don't get any in the looseness really that you get from a lot of other cars, right?
press on the brakes you know, sometimes it slows you down too much and like fuck I took that too slow and other times it's like oh and you really needed that press I went a bit too fast like such a fine line between taking a corner perfectly and, and not right not that I take too many perfectly <laughs> and I know how to like I know the concept of not racing racing and weight transfer you know um, breaking when to break but sometimes I just have a hard time enacting it because Here we go. Well, that was the first one right there. 
It's a nice looking car. Kinda looks like a Knight Rider, right? All black like that. St. Croix. You coming up, Fuzz? Hey, you coming? I can only see your tail. I don't know if you're... You coming up? Come on. Good girl. Lay down. You don't step on the cord, though, okay? There you go. Lay down. Lay down. Hello. Pushing the microphone in my mouth here. There we go. You're a little monster. You're a little monster. Oh, look at that one, Fuzz. That's the most recent one. I do believe. And it's fun to ask. I don't want to be throwing away credits right now. You know what I... Holy shit, wasn't ready for that one. Wasn't ready for that one, Puzz. I don't want to be throwing away credits. Only. It's still early in the game. I'm going to get a billion more cars away. I haven't even gotten my favorite cars yet. Like, I don't have a Viper yet. Don't have a Ferrari F40 yet. Don't have an RX7 yet. Or do I have an RX7? I don't think I do. You know. Sometimes they don't even touch each other. They go down like they're shot in the face, right? What, what an embarrassment. 
It's embarrassing. How do you live with yourself acting that way, right? Like, Meanwhile, you have guys in the NHL get split open, go get stitched up. I'm back, yeah. Yeah, my shoulder's hanging by a thread here, but I'll finish the game. No worries. You know, right? That kind of character and toughness. That sports team. Not nonsense. Nonsense diving and rolling around. And what was it? Like... I hate soccer, but you couldn't avoid coverage of the World Cup this year. Like, it was impossible, right? Like, what was with, like, like, fucking guys like Messi who are, like, you know, the best soccer players in the world, but they're, they're scoring goals and then they're putting, like, their thumbs on their head and waving around like they have antlers at people? Like, like, what the fuck is that? These are grown people, like, sports, like, stars, like, that are role models and stuff? I mean, you gotta be... Like, fuck off. Like, it's just a joke. The whole thing's a joke. I don't know if any of you people like soccer or not, but... I can't fucking stomach it. Even other sports that I'm not really a big fan of, like basketball. Um, because you get a lot of that, a lot of that diving and stuff, too. But, e but even, like, compared to soccer, like, physical... Or, basketball's a much more physical game. You know, people are getting elbows in the face, and they're getting knocked over. And, uh, and not on a soft grass field like on a hard court you know like it's it's still a lot more physical than soccer and stuff um, but you do get the the nonsense of people you know diving around pretending they're hurt when they're not really right but still it's way more consequential than soccer um, but even though I don't really like basketball um, I can still respect it to a certain degree you know and, and realize that these guys do have you know some sort of you know, skill and talent and consequence in, in the sport they play. But, oh, something about soccer. I just always hated it ever since I was young. I just didn't see the point. You know, the only soccer I've ever enjoyed was the buddy I played video games with every week. Um, when he was just a kid, when we were just kids. Um, I was, I don't know, I was having a sleepover in his him and his brother's house and he played soccer at the time and so I went to watch his game but it was indoors so it was indoor in like a hockey arena with the ice out obviously <laughs> but that would have been even more awesome um, and so it was indoors in a hockey rink so the surface was much smaller like much tighter um, there were boards, so the ball wasn't going out of bounds every five seconds. Um, sometimes it could be shot over the boards, but if it was just along the ground, like, the boards would keep it in play, right? And the nets were also a lot smaller. Um, so the goalies could actually, like, they didn't necessarily have to guess where a guy was going to shoot, right? Like, which is so ridiculous. Like, I see these penalty shoots in soccer, and it's like, the goalies just have to guess. Like, they have to make a decision before the guy even shoots to... Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Like, what kind of? That's ridiculous. That's not even like you can't. How do you even play that position? It's not even like a thing. Like, it's like what? You gotta guess. Like, the nets are so big that you can't even just wait and react. No, I have to give myself somewhat of a shot. Maybe if I guess this way and he happens to shoot it that way, but if it goes the other way, you're fucked, right? Like, it's just to me, like, it makes no sense. So this indoor soccer was awesome because it was it was faster. There were less stoppages. The goalies actually had a chance at making saves, right? Like it was so much more interesting than actual soccer. Um, so yeah, I think they should just abolish these giant fields, put them all in a hockey rink, and add some physical contact to it. You know, like I see, I see guys getting kicked out of games and they didn't even touch a guy, right? It's like what? What's, how is this allowed to happen? Right? Oh, it's just... I don't know what got me thinking about that when we started talking about taking guys out and racing, right? It got me thinking about 
physicality in sports and in hockey, obviously, and then the lack of it in soccer. Once I go off on a tangent about something I don't like, I can stay there for a while. <laughs> right, Fuzz? Hey, Fuzz? She's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Any of you like soccer? Don't mean to offend, but uh, that's just my personal opinion. You can try and change my mind, but, but you won't. Like, I get the cardiovascular and endurance component behind soccer. These guys are obviously in good shape. Because, and, and that's the other thing. Why are soccer games so long and they're so uninteresting and boring, right? Like, make them 10 minutes long, right? Maybe they'll all run their asses off, score a few goals. Instead of, like, this marathon endurance match that's just so boring, right? <laughs> oh. I have ideas. But the Simpsons summed it up. Oh, look at that. That is pretty sweet. The Simpsons summed it up pretty well in one of their first, I think it was one of the first few seasons way back in the day in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, I don't know if it was World Cup time or if they just implemented this into the episode somehow. I don't remember exactly how it went down, but there was a soccer match. And uh, that's a super, I know the best, that mid-90s kind of one. 95 or 97 or something like that. Um, and yeah, there was a... Wait, I need some coffee for Before it gets cold. Yeah, so there was... So they were watching soccer on, a t on the television on The Simpsons. And... The match started. And that big circle in the middle of the field where the kickoff happens. Like... <laughs> the, the one team got the ball and then they were basically just kicking it back and forth to each other within this circle over and over again nobody was really moving around nobody was doing anything and you heard the announcers going like oh my god oh such an exciting match oh look at all this furious action oh my god <laughs> and that's all they were doing was just kicking it back and forth to each other lazily nothing was happening you know, nobody was scoring any goals, nobody was doing anything, right? And it's like, it perfectly sums it up, right? Like, you know, something totally uninteresting happens in soccer, which is basically 99.9% .9 of the match, and you get the commentators just, like, going off at the, at the hook, right? Like, it's just like, oh my god. Like, there's just so many things that do not make sense to me with that sport. I think that's the main points I have to hit on in my contempt for the sport. Oh, the one thing that... Uh, there's one other thing. Because Canada finally made it to the World Cup this year and they kind of blew it. Um, but, I mean, the first World Cup in a long time. Since the mid-80s, I think it was. Um... But the whole thing with <clears throat> after they lost narrowly to the oh fuck I can't remember who it was the Dutch maybe or Belgium or something like that uh, in their first game and then they had Croatia in their second match and the, the coach of the Canadian soccer team 
was, I don't know, overheard saying, like, trying to pump the guys up and being like, fuck Croatia and all this stuff, right? And the media got a hold of that, and it became such a goddamn fucking story, and people were, like, latching on to it, and, like, Croatia then, as a nation was up in arms, how could dare you say this to us? And the Croatian coach did the press conference, like, oh, that's a lack of respect, and blah, 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 blah. And it was like on and on and on and on and on and on about this. And it's like, it's not a big deal. Holy shit. Rain. Um, that's just like a normal thing, right? Like in a locker room, it's like, you know, like, fuck these guys, right? We're going to destroy them, right? Like, that's, that's just the things you say, right? And it's like these, they turn, like, personal affront to it, right? Like, it was just so ridiculous. I was so sick of hearing about it, you know? Um, because, A, it wasn't a big deal to begin with, you know what I mean? wasn't that big a deal to begin with like anybody who's ever played sports at any level competitive sports like yeah you have respect for your opponents and stuff but there's also just a thing involved in sports where it's just like yeah you have respect for your your opponents and stuff like that but you also trash talk and say we're gonna fucking destroy these guys and you know like that's just the way it is right and then, like, why did they get so goddamn sensitive about this, right? Like, it was just such a... I was sick of hearing about it. Like, I was sick of hearing about the World Cup to begin with. And then that happened, and I was just like, you know, like, I'm fucking done with this. This is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Um, like, I ate it. This is, like, disgusting. The whole thing's just fucking blown out of proportion, and I'm tired of it. Um, it's too bad they lost to Croatia too because it would have been nice if after all that they'd gone out and fucking beat them right? like, but either way I didn't really give a fuck but just wiped my ass with the whole thing This is just bonkers. I can't even... I can't even stop, right? Like... Sliding all around, I'm not even turning. Okay, the rain has stopped. Nobody can fucking drive that.
third place up there. He's within reach. But, like, my car won't even grab the track. Like, what am I supposed to do? He's right there, man. I see him. It's possible I can't pass these guys if I just play it safe and gradually catch up to them. But or is it just completely random? It's just like a 10% chance on any track it'll rain at any given time sort of thing, right? Like, I don't know how it works. This is nuts. That's allowed. That could be a way to catch up to this first place guy. <laughs> it didn't really make a difference either, right behind me still. Okay, sun's come out. Okay, have we actually dried up a bit here? Trust it though, I'm a little gun shy. No. I thought I had something else I was going to talk about. Totally. Okay, I think the nonsense is done. Right? Still going to have enough. Time to catch this asshole. The light's kind of weird too, it's like kind of bright but also dark. I'm having a hard time keeping things copacetic in my sight visions here.
That was good. I stuck it out anyways. I was going to back out of that quick because I was like, what the fuck? This is... Just try it again and see if, you know, we can get it without the rain. Okay, because that was like... I couldn't believe it. Like, the rain not only, like, affected us a bit. Like, we have to slow down a bit. It's a bit slick and stuff. No, like, my car was just trying to drive it on a straight stretch of pavement and it was like sliding off into the wall. It's like, what? Well. Thank you. 